Hello, it's Peter Ames from the Number Shack Limited. Thank you for joining us for our final session on understanding financial statements. Today we're going to have a quick look at preparing what if scenarios. But what if scenarios are really good, uh, give you an indication on what's happening with your business, particularly if uh, you're experiencing negative uh, conditions at the moment because of the economy, uh, inflation's going up, interest rates are going up to combat inflation. Salaries aren't going up. The people at the end of the day just don't have enough money to uh, go through and continue spending. So they've got to cut back on their spending. They cut back on their spending so impact on the business. Okay, so let's start. Let's assume that you've got your financial statements in your accountant or your bookkeeper. Plug those into Excel. You know, and list down which are your fixed and which are your variable expenses like I've done here. All right. Um, we know that obviously the revenue goes up or goes down, food purchases will ultimately go up or down. Right? But you've got direct salaries which are fixed, for example, you know, full time employee as opposed to um, casual employee. Also, if your revenue goes down, you don't need as much uh, money to spend on uh, casual employee, and vice versa, if your revenue goes up, right? So, <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this is shame, for example, worst case situation, you expect your business to go down 40%. Also, at the same time, look at the scenario of if your business goes down 20%. Okay. You can see here that your revenue has gone down from the original amount. It's gone by 40%, not one by 20%. Similarly, your cost of goods uh, for food purchases has been affected too, whereas with your fixed costs, no change. They're still there. Right? However, when we come to, I don't know what happened there, but I should be 17,200. Yeah. 17,200. Right? Um, fixed costs won't change unless you take some strategic action. So let's have a look at the bottom line. First of all, under a 40% uh, decline in revenue, right, your net profit is going to be a loss of $12,000. So what are your implications? You've either got to get additional funding, cut back on some of your expenses, or increase your revenue. Right? They're the three simple uh, strategies you've got to think about. Now, in the case of whether yeah, the economy is going to impact on your business by 20%. Okay, right, it has a short impact on your business, but you can easily find, you know, probably a couple of thousand dollars in your fixed costs that you can save, right? Maybe you can cut back on some of your salary costs and let's say, for example, it makes that $10,000. All of a sudden, it, that goes into your profit. You can't do anything with rent except for like what happened during the COVID 19 pandemic. <laughs> okay. Now, from a positive perspective, let's assume you're taking expansion uh, progress. You want to, in the next year, increase your revenue by 10% and the year after 25%. Right? This is the impact. You've got a 10% growth in your revenue and a 25% growth in your revenue. Obviously, you expect to see that your variable costs will increase in life, but your fixed costs don't. However, you might find, as an example, that to achieve that 25% uh, increase in revenue, right, you don't have to increase your fixed costs. Right? You might have to move to a bigger kitchen or a bigger premise. So you might find that your rental costs will increase. Right? So let's have a look and see how that impacts on the bottom line. Okay, from a base of zero, right, we can see under a 10% growth that our profit's going to increase to 15,000, and under a 25% growth, 17,000, assuming that um, you, you're going to have to move premises, that's the assumption she is. If not, then we change that back. Uh, profit still be uh, increased to 24,000. The extra profit can be used to invest in assets for the business, invest in uh, human resources, 
pay dividends, repay finances, whatever. But you need to do a cash flow to see how that impacts on your business and work the strategy. Okay, well that's all for today. I hope you've got a good understanding of how you can apply what to um, scenarios in your business. Thank you for taking the time uh, to listen to our series. Uh, if you want any further information, please do not hesitate to contact me. I can be contacted on WhatsApp on plus 62 813 Thanks for taking the time. Stay tuned. I'll let you know when I've got more theories happening in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.